Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you everything I eat in a day as a vegan. It's gonna be really simple, easy, delicious, colorful, all the positive adjectives. Uh, hopefully it will give you some recipe inspiration. And I'm also really excited to say that this video is in partnership with Sumo Citrus. If you haven't had Sumo Citrus before, you're definitely kind of missing out, but don't worry, you can still try it. It is a really special citrus fruit. It's actually very delicate and it's one of the most difficult to grow, but the high effort has a very large payoff because this fruit is one of the sweetest fruits ever. It is characterized by this cute little top knot that you see on top of the fruit. It's very easy to peel, it's seedless. It has very limited growing season, only January through April. So if you're interested in trying it, definitely check your local grocery store. You still have a little bit of time left. But today, I'm challenging myself to come up with three different recipes, all revolving around this beauty of a fruit. Can you tell that I like this a lot? Sorry. It's just really so good. This fruit is a perfect snack, but it can also be very versatile in recipes too. So. I made my coffee and now we're gonna get started with breakfast. So for breakfast, we're going to be making these really delicious chocolate sumo citrus waffles. We'll be incorporating the fruit in two different ways. First things first, we're gonna start with our wet ingredients. I have half of a cup of plant-based milk. I'm using soy milk, but you could use really any milk. And I'm adding a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to it. This is going to curdle and give us a sort of plant-based buttermilk, which is going to help our waffles be a little bit more fluffy. Soy milk does work best, but you do you. While that curdles, we're going to go ahead and mix all of our dry ingredients, stay efficient. So we have half of a cup of oat flour. I just took half a cup of oats and then blended it in my blender until they were fine and fluffy, just like the texture of regular flour. And then these are actually gonna be protein waffles, so I'm adding some chocolate protein powder. I'm just using the serving on my container. It's about a third of a cup, but if you don't have protein powder, you can still make these. I would recommend adding a tablespoon of cacao powder and then an extra fourth of a cup of flour and also add a tablespoon of a sweetener like maple syrup to the wet ingredients or coconut sugar to the dry ingredients. This sort of acts as like flour, chocolate, and sweetener. So you just gotta split up but use the same volume. And then for the rest of our dry ingredients, we're gonna add some flaxseed. This is gonna help everything stick together a little bit more. And we're also going to add half of a tablespoon of baking powder. Then we'll just mix everything together until it's evenly incorporated. So like I said, these are actually chocolate sumo citrus waffles. So the way we're going to be incorporating the sumo citrus flavor into the waffles is by zesting our sumo citrus. You only need about half of a teaspoon of zest in total. I'm just going to use this microplane here, which will very finely grate it. And we're going to add it into our wet ingredients. Then we'll combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients and mix it until it forms a thick batter. In the meantime, you should be preheating your waffle iron. Make sure your waffle maker is preheated. If it has settings. I usually do the darkest settings because plant-based waffles take a little longer to cook. And also make sure to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray before you add your batter. The batter should be pretty thick, so don't be worried if it is thick. That's what we're looking for. Just gonna spread it around a little bit. And now we wait. So in the meantime, while our waffle is cooking, you can go ahead and prep the toppings for your, your waffle. You can really use anything you want. Here I have half of a sliced banana, some hemp hearts, and I'm going to use about half of the sumo citrus now. Look how easy it is to peel. It just slides right off. I love it. Um, but we're going to be saving the other half for a little bit later because I'm going to be using some of these wedges for our dessert. Do you guys ever do that challenge where you can see how much of a citrus peel you can take off? Oh, this is really easy, so it's not that complicated. So I'm gonna save this half for later. And this half we use on top of my waffle. You could also do some granola. Oh, and I'm obviously gonna add maple syrup. I just haven't gotten it out of the fridge yet. All right, our waffles are done. They're looking good. Sometimes I use a fork, sometimes I use my fingers. This seemed to work well today. <laughs> Our waffles are done. They are looking great. So now it's time for a taste test. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. So I got banana, sumo citrus, and a waffle chunk. Mmm. The chocolate and the orange in the waffle itself is subtle, which is nice. 
but when you bite into that sumo citrus on top, it's like a ju juicy burst of the sweet flavor. It's so good. This is gonna be extra delicious with my cup of coffee. Okay, now it's time for lunch. And for lunch, I wanted to make someone else's recipe uh, just to see how they use citrus. And you know, sometimes it's just nice to not have to think and to follow someone else's recipe, even though I do make recipes for a living. So my friend, kind of more acquaintance, but I like to say friend because I think she's really cool. Uh, her name is Laura. She runs a blog called The First Mess. She's based in Canada and I really, really love all of her recipes and her photography is absolutely beautiful. She focuses on a lot of like colorful, whole food, plant-based kind of meals and everything just looks so delicious. So I found this recipe on her blog for a cold ginger noodle salad with mint, edamame, and orange. And I'm going to be swapping a few things out and obviously I'll be using my sumo citrus in place of the orange which is gonna make it even better because it's extra sweet. So I already went ahead and made the dressing for this recipe, but you combine rice vinegar, avocado oil, and tamari with ginger and maple syrup in a jar, and then just shake it up until it is emulsified. And now we're going to move on to the salad. I have my noodles cooking in the background, and I'm changing this recipe a little bit by adding some kale because I think it would be really good. So I'm actually going to start by adding my kale to the bowl and massaging it with a little bit of the dressing. I only need a little bit. And then I'm just gonna massage it with one hand um, because I cut my pinky, so I can't use two hands. But if you don't like kale or you think it's too bitter, I would highly, highly suggest massaging it first. It really breaks down the cell walls and it makes the kale a lot less chewy, so it's easier to digest and just easier to chew. And it definitely, in my opinion, takes away some of the bitterness as well. When you know that it's like fully massaged, once the leaves become almost like a little translucent, um, cause before they kind of have more of a matte finish to them. So this looks pretty good, but my hand is not. So I'm gonna wash it off. And then we're gonna continue with our salad. So I actually rinsed my noodles with cold water. Then I add them to the bowl and add it in three fourths of the dressing and toss them. And then I went ahead and added the remaining ingredients. So I added some carrots, some edamame, jalapeno, green onions, mint, sesame seeds, and last but not least, our chopped sumo citrus. Then you just toss everything until well combined and it's ready to serve. Look at how pretty and colorful this is. I am so excited to dig in. Laura said you could use any noodle. I use like a gluten-free lentil noodle. I feel like this would be really good with ramen noodles too. Oh, but she said you could use like wheat noodles, buckwheat noodles, rice noodles, whatever you have on hand. Mmm, that dressing is so good. It pairs really well with the jalapeno. If 10 out of 10, would recommend. So it's now time to start prepping for dinner and I'm going to be making some recipes from my cookbook for dinner, Simply Delicious Vegan. So I'll have it linked down below. One of them is actually on my blog. So if you want a little preview, you wanna know how to make half the recipe, um, I'll link that one down below. So first we're going to make some healthy orange sauce, but we're obviously going to be using our sumo citrus instead and then we're going to use that to make this garlicky green bean stir fry with sticky orange tempeh. Ta -da! Don't look at that, buy my book. <laughs> Just kidding, but not really. Please support me. <laughs> okay, anyways. So that's what we're gonna be making for dinner tonight. The recipe is really simple. First, we'll start by making our healthy orange sauce which you literally just blend all of the ingredients up in a blender, then transfer it to the stove top and simmer it for a few minutes until the sauce thickens. Then you can set it aside to cool further. And then for our stir fry, we'll actually start by making the tempeh. We're gonna dilute the orange sauce a little bit with some veggie broth and then add the tempeh and simmer it down until the tempeh gets sticky and all the liquid has evaporated. While that's simmering away, we'll saute our onion, mushrooms, garlic, green beans, tamari, and chili flakes until the onion is translucent and the green beans are nice and tender and then you can just combine everything. I decided to serve mine over rice to make it a little bit heartier but you could also enjoy it on its own. And obviously I hated it. So that was dinner. It was delicious and now it's time for dessert because I always have dessert and dessert is just the best way to end the night in my opinion. So as you know earlier I only ate half of that sumo citrus for breakfast so I made a little something something for dessert. I made a chocolate covered sumo citrus. I just melted some chocolate on a double boiler and then kept it very simple. I just dipped the orange pieces in the chocolate, then placed it on a plate with parchment paper and I stuck it in my fridge to make the chocolate harden a little bit faster. They're gonna be juicy and delicious. I guess, I guess I'll have one.
Don't twist my arm or anything. Mmm. So I'm gonna have these, and I'm gonna have a glass of oat milk. Because that sounds nice. Oh, and I think I might have a few medjool dates too. I don't have them with me. Don't feel like getting them, but you know what they are. So that is it for this What I Eat in a Day video. I hope you guys really like this video. Thanks again to Sumo Citrus for partnering with me. And again, if you guys wanna find them or try them near you, you gotta act quick because the season is only, the growing season is only through April, so. Also, if you guys could let me know in the comments of this video, if you prefer uh, these What I Eat in a Day videos where I have more recipes and focus more on the food, or if you like ones where I focus like on my life and things I'm doing during the day too, or maybe you wanna mix, That'd be really helpful for me to know because I always want to make content that you guys like too. And if you like this content, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see all of the vegan recipe and lifestyle content that I put out. So that is it from me. Man, my dogs were in this video, but I'm sure they say hello. They're actually in the basement right now where I'm about to go, cuddling on the couch. Uh, but you'll see them in a future video if you're subscribed. Okay. Have an awesome day and I look forward to virtually seeing you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.